Turkey continues their ground offensive in northeastern Syria. Violence has left at least 11 people dead and dozens more injured. As the fighting rages on, the death toll is expected to rise. Now, there are conflicting arguments between Turkey and Kurdish forces on whether Turkish forces successfully took control of some Syrian villages. Now, for more on this and other news around the world, let's go to our Kim Demi at the Adida News Center. Now, tell me, this offensive is just days old, but we're already hearing different accounts about what's happening on the ground. Right, Konyang, a Turkish state media said on Thursday that two Syrian villages were, quote, cleared of terror. The state media reported that the villages of the Al Abisha and Talfandar were the first places of cleared of terrorists as part of Ankara's so called Operation Peace Spring. Turkey's defense ministry tweeted that it had accomplished its goal without further elaborating on its future plans. But these accounts are contrast with what the Syrians are saying. The Syrian Democratic Forces insist that the Turkish aggression was in fact, repelled by SDF fighters. According to a London-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, all Turkish military actions have been foiled by Kurdish forces. The SDF reported blocked most of Turkey's ground offensive on Wednesday, but their lack of weaponry is raising questions about how long Kurdish forces can repel the Turkish advance. While tensions between the two countries mount, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov vowed to mediate with Turkey to protect Syria's Kurds. Suggesting the U.S. was to blame for the chaos, Lavrov said the Kremlin wants the situation to calm down as soon as possible.